so how we're going to do this is we first rewrite the equation isolating y. So we're going to subtract 4x. Then we'll divide all terms by negative 6. So we get y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. That's the first equation. Then we isolate y for the second. So we have 2y equals negative 2x and 6. Divide all terms by 2. So we have y equals negative x plus 3. Then you will plot the blue. So we'll do our y-intercept on 3. We'll have a negative slope of 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1. Draw our line. A solution or where two lines overlap, if they do, it looks like there's one intersection, so there's one solution, and it looks like they cross at 3, 0. The way to confirm this is to plug in, and if both make true statements, then you can confirm yes solution. So if I go to check, and I plug in 3 for x and 0 for y, in both equations, I will get true statements. So 0 equals 2 thirds times 3 minus 2. So 0 does equal 2 minus 2 over 0. Check. 0 equals negative 3 plus 3, which equals 0. Check. Therefore, we found the correct solution. In order to confirm that an ordered pair is or is not a solution, you plug in. If it's true, then it will be a solution. If it's false, it will not be a solution. So if I plug in, I get 4 times 3 minus 6 times 0 equal to 12. Does 12 equal 12? Yes. Now it needs to work for the next. Is 2 times 3 plus 2 times 0 equal to 6? Yes, therefore, 3 comma 0 is a solution. You can do these three little dots, therefore, new math symbol.